at noon, a Houston mother accused of leaving her two kids home alone while she was on a cruise just appeared in court. The Gochi Iloka was there. Within the last hour and a half, a judge decided to keep the bond for 29 year old Lakeisha Williams at $25,000 after he called the details of her case egregious. This is video of Williams facing a judge this morning. Williams is charged with child abandonment with the intent to return after leaving her eight year old and six year old children home alone for nearly a week. Court documents say she was on a cruise but had cameras in her Katie high rise apartment to check on her kids. She allegedly also left her son with a phone. Neighbors called police concerned for the kids safety. Investigators say the house was found in complete disarray with leftover food food, feces, and the smell of urine. Williams, a defense attorney, says she allegedly paid her cousin to watch the kids, but he took off with the money. You left your children unattended for four days. Let's say you leave the country out on a trip and the cousin doesn't go to take care of the children. If this is really a plane flight like she says it is, wouldn't you as a parent be on the first plane back immediately? And Williams' children were told were put in the temporary custody of her sister by CPS. Reporting outside the Harris County Criminal Courthouse, Ugochi Iloka, KHOU, 11 News. All right, so I sat on this one for a minute because I wanted to find out what this woman's excuse was for leaving her uh, her children at home by themselves while she went on a cruise. Uh, the, the the kids, they're six and eight years old. And um, when, I, when I saw the thing at first, I was like, here we go again with somebody that's leaving their kids at home while they go out and party or go on a cruise or something, and the kids are left unsupervised. Um, and her, her excuse, I don't know if anybody's buying it, but she said she paid her cousin to look after the kids. He took the money and ran off and didn't go check on the kids or stay with the kids or whatever. And, you know, I'm asking myself, is that possible? I mean, yeah, that could happen. But here's the thing. If that was the case, why aren't we hearing about the, this this cousin being held accountable? Uh, or why are we not hearing about this cousin going before a judge? Because, I mean, the cousin, if that was the situation, the cousin was left in charge of the kids. So he would have been responsible for the kids as well. Um, and if that was the case where he took the money, and he ran off. Why didn't she come back home immediately? Or maybe contact the responsible family member to go over there, check on the kids, stay with them until she returned home or something like that. But I guess she maybe figured she was already in trouble, so she might as well just have some fun before coming back home. Because, you know, if you think about it, there, there were just so many things that could have gone wrong with those kids being there by themselves. I mean, uh, a break-in, a fire, or even something where one or both of those kids got hurt trying to climb up on a counter or something, to, you know, to get something out of the cabinet. Things happen, and when they do, it, it takes a responsible adult to be physically present because um, they'll know what to do next in the event that something goes down. But what she did was irresponsible, dangerous for the kids, and, and reckless and selfish. And if you're not going to shell out the extra dollars for the kids to come along with you while you go on vacation and everything like that, or if you're not going to um, have somebody like a responsible adult come stay with your kids if you can't find somebody because i mean people sometimes they don't want to have to deal with your kids for that that long of a time and that's their right because your children are your responsibility and so if that was the case where you couldn't find anybody else to keep them then you you put your plans on hold you tell yourself this this is going to have to wait until maybe some some other time or a better time you see when you have children you you're going to miss out on a lot of things and those things aren't more important than the safety and well-being of your children. My wife and I, we have three children. And when we go on vacation, sometimes we bring our kids, sometimes we don't. But when we don't bring them, we make sure that there's a family member who will be there to watch out for them, make sure they do things like eat, uh, uh, take a bath, you know, uh, uh, clean their clothes or something like that. But um it's I don't know you know if we can't find that then we just don't go because because everybody doesn't have the uh the benefit of reaching out to a family member like I said some people just don't want to have anything to do with your kids right um but 
not being able to do certain things because you have children that comes with the territory. You can't neglect your duties and responsibilities as a parent because you want to go out and chill and kick it and have fun. You know, I always say that there's no manual for this stuff because something should be common sense. And as a parent, I believe that parenting, it's a never ending learning process. So I really hope that she enjoyed her vacation because now it's time to face the music and hopefully she makes better choices going forward. So just my little thoughts on that situation. Y'all take care. Stay safe. Peace.